Hey everyone, it's Aries Cartel back with another video. So today I'm actually doing this on request uh, for a YouTuber who's having a little bit of issues uh, figuring things out and I completely understand. I'm a visual learner so I hope whoever watches this and needs some advice, this helps you. Um, I'm just going to do a step-by-step walkthrough of everything. So I got chapters down below to find out what you specifically are looking for. And if you have any questions or recommended like more you need to find out let me know in the comments and i will gladly make a second video of this for you guys okay let's get started though because i've taken up a lot of time for the intro so the first thing we're going to do ooh, ooh, okay that looks nasty okay let's go oh much better okay let's continue so the first thing you're going to do you're going to have a blank canvas so you're just going to have this probably set up with desktop audio microphone you're going to have no scenes no sources not a zip so oh no go back go back no more snapping got it so the first thing we're going to do is add a brand new scene why because we can now you can name it whatever you want for me it's going to be five nights at freddy's so we're just going to do five nights at freddy's and ta-da! There we go. So now we got a nice Five Nights at Freddy's one. And it's actually a series I'm doing right now, so it's great for me to set this up for myself as well. Now, your sources is going to be empty. The only reason why I got one right here is because, uh, uh, well, you guys kind of have to see what I'm doing. Sorry, guys. You're going to end up with a blank slate when you make the new one. So, first thing we're going to do is add a source. Now, if you are a gamer and you're capturing gameplay, you'll want to go for game capture. Why? Because the game capture is what you'll be able to prioritize and record. Now, I'm going to name mine FNAF because I'm going for Five Nights at Freddy's, and it's the acronym for it. You guys can name it whatever you want. You can even leave it as game capture, as you see I already have one before. There we go. So now capture any full screen application. Here's your second step. Okay, so I typically go capture specific window because capture full screen application might switch between what windows you have open. If you've got Spotify playing, Steam playing, something that's full screen, it's going to capture any of it. It doesn't matter. So capture specific window is what I go for. So I can choose which one I want. Now I can either go for the OBS and say, hi, here's me. Or I can go ahead and switch over to Five Nights at Freddy's, the one I want to capture. Now, this is just, oh, wait, hold on. There we go, much better. Now, this is just a preview of what it's going to be. This preview is just how it's going to appear. Now, you can capture your cursor, you can, you can capture your cursor or not, and just press OK, because that's all you need. Now, <laughs> now, if I change the order of this, that's another thing to take into consideration. The order of this will change. Now, as an example... So now you see some of my OBS, but you see the game specifically more so. Now, I'm not going to sit there and play it right now, but this was just shown as an example of what you'll have appear. So I'm actually going to fill this right here just as like how you're going to see it. Now, for the second thing you'll want to do, because I totally didn't realize while editing this that the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 I have up here completely and totally, um, well, foobarred the rest of the video and I have to redo this again. Now, the second thing you'll want to do is probably put your beautiful face on it. Now, if you don't feel comfortable enough to put on a camera and have yourself actually record for your reactions and everything, skip this. Go to the next one. Go Next one is audio mixer. You'll want to hear about that. For those who would like to know how to put on a camera, so you will actually come down here to the game capture and display capture. Sorry, Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm going to hide you for a bit. So you're going to go to the add source, and you're actually going to put in the video capture device, which in plain English just means camera so you're not gonna have any ad existing ones or anything you're just gonna you're gonna create a brand new one I'm gonna name this video capture device too it, it, it's fine it's that's it now 
this is how it's going to appear. It's going to appear as a preview for whichever device you want connected. Now, say there's multiple ones and you're not sure which one to use. That's your preference. Go through each of them. I only have one camera as I'm broke. <laughs> I'm doing this on a budget and YouTube is just a hobby for me. <laughs> Don't ask me about the OBS virtual camera though because I actually have not messed with that at all. But I bet you there's going to be YouTube videos about that if you take a look. I'm just focusing on getting your first camera set up. And then you just press OK, and now it's going to appear somewhere or not. Okay, it looks like it's in this tiny little corner in red. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. When, what happens when the camera disappears and you don't know where to find it? You're not asking backpack, but we will be doing right-click on that scene that you just added on that video capture device and hit Transform. You'll want to hit either stretch to screen or fit to screen as those ones will actually have it up here and high now again. You can now change this however size you want, wherever placement you want to put it. It all depends on what you want. Now right now as you saw when moving it, mine's disappeared and that's because mine's actually currently active in my audio only scene. Uh, you are able to have more than one instance of OBS up. Uh, just be careful if you have like one monitor like I do uh, it does cause more lag the more windows you open but also it does help separate your gameplay from your audio and video uh, to where it does make editing much easier later on down the line and I want to give a huge shout out to one of my youtuber friends um, she actually recommended doing this and it's been so helpful now with your audio mixer this is going to be your third step for the audio mixer the first thing you want to get set up is your desktop audio and to do that you click on these three little dots and click on properties now you may be sitting there well mine's just set to default what does that mean it's whatever your computer's default uh speakers are it could be the uh, computer settings, speakers, it could be maybe your headset. Um, I'm actually making sure that it's set to my headset and not my computer speakers as so I can hear everything when I'm gaming. So I'm not going in there for a reaction or first time playthrough and don't have anything. I can't hear it. Anyways. Now that that's all set up and you have chosen the device you want to listen to things through, you just hit OK. Now that's going to be all set up, but wait, I still don't hear any audio. Or, in the even better part that sometimes I go through, I don't hear anything. I've got my game up in the background, say Five Nights at Friday's like this, and I don't hear anything over here. Let me show you. What's that? Is that? Is that? Yes. So, now you may not see it until. Stay. Now you may not see it until you go to edit your video or upload your recording or check your video, whichever one you choose to do. But I can promise you, you're still getting audio as long as that game is up. And you don't have your computer on mute. You gotta have that mute setting set up and you gotta have it up and running. If you do not have it up and running, you're not gonna catch any uh, sound. And for those of you just going for gameplay, I actually recommend whatever headset you have, even if it's an ear jack or something. It doesn't have to be as fancy as this. Just go ahead and make sure that it's plugged in and that your computer laptop's on. That way, if you don't want to disturb everyone around you or you just don't care, go ahead and have them blaring. As well, you always want to do audio check before. Now, to get your microphone set up, it's the same thing like a desktop audio. You will be going to the three white dots, go to properties, and then pick which device you want. Again, with the default, it's whatever default you have it set on your computer. 
or laptop, whichever you're using. Uh, for me, because my headset, yes, has a um, plug in, plug out, a detachable, a detachable microphone on it. I'm not using it, otherwise it's not going to hear anything. So I'm going to use my Toner T777 audio device, which, what is that? This little pretty baby here. This thing is amazing. Now with that, same thing, device timestamps. I haven't seen any difference with using and without using it. If there is, let me know in the comments actually for future people. <laughs> uh, and just hit okay. Now there you go, your microphone's gonna be all set up. But Aries, it's not gray like yours. Well, I don't want it to be uh, colored. That means that my gameplay is having uh, anything I say attached to the gameplay instead of the video camera that I would prefer being attached to. Um, I have it set up, again, two different scenes to where one's with camera and audio, one's with gameplay and audio, and I prefer that method for editing purposes. So it's not going to appear like this for you guys, it's actually going to appear like this. So that's just personal preference on my part. You guys can play with this, fiddle with this, see what goes on for you. Now we're going to briefly go over scene transitions as there's not much really to it. This is depending on if you switch over to the scenes and you have your hotkeys enabled. It's, I don't use it. So if you guys have methods for it or want to go go search that up on YouTube, you're more than welcome to. This was just my brief, quick glance of it. You can change whether you want it to cut straight to it or fade into the scene and how many milliseconds you want it to take or even if you want to add some more. Now, your next one you want to take a look at is going to be the settings in OBS. This is the most important part you're going to see before you start recording as every laptop and computer have different types. Now, in general, I have my theme set to dark. No, you can choose whichever you want. If you want it light, if you want it gray, if you want it whichever. Oh, God. Blinded by the light. Back to dark. There we go. Oh, my goodness. That was not fun. Okay, so update channel, no clue. <laughs> Output, preference, that is preference. The ones I'm gonna go over actually is going to be output, audio, video, and a quick glance at hotkeys. Now for output, I have mine set to simple because the advanced really confused me. And as you can see, it's not letting me touch anything. Well, Right now I'm recording, so I can't touch anything besides video bitrate and audio bitrate. Now I have it set to 320, the full max on audio for the not, I guess you could say best quality in my opinion. I have it just set to that for best. You can have it minimum, you gotta have it though, is 160 I'd say. That's, it's a better just for encoding, editing, and just sounds better to me. My bitrate is only 2500. For you guys, you're probably going to want to test this one out. You can find out whether or not you can go up to 25,000, 10,000, or if you can't handle that and you have to go like 1,000, 100, 150. It's one thing you're going to have to just play with and test with. And I can't give you a yes or no which one it's going to be. This is just what works with my laptop. I have an Asus ROG gaming laptop. Now, encoder presets, I'd actually go for very fast default with a medium CPU usage and standard quality. Again, this is to where my videos don't look like crap, but I also can't use too much of my CPU, so the very fast was the best in-betweener for me. Again, another item for you guys to test, see which one works for you. 
Last but not least, your recording path is going to where all of your videos are going to go. As you can see, I actually have a separate spot for recordings and you can easily browse and change where it's going to be. Uh, another preference if you want. I go for high quality medium file size. That way it doesn't take too much space because some of them can go really huge on gigabytes and if you're recording these videos you may not have the space for it. I do mp4 automatically as if you're using DaVinci Resolve mp4 has been the best one I have found using. Uh, they do have other options but for some of the editing programs you'll want to keep it at mp4 that way they don't say that like media is offline or anything or cannot connect to the media um just just it's honestly it's just simpler to use the mp4 format for uploading purposes and editing it makes it a lot easier and you don't it prevents you from having problems now encoders this is another one you have to test and find out i my best one with my laptop was the software x264 there are different methods i think there's a hardware one uh, which is a little bit harder um made mine a bit laggier so i had so i settled with the software x264 again all of these i cannot repeat this enough all of these are preference and what your laptop or computer is capable of now audio so you got your general, you got your channels, you got your global audio, you got your meters, you got your advanced. I, I'm just going over this one. So I have my desktop audio set to my gaming headset automatically and I don't have an audio too. I don't need one. I always use headsets. Now my mic and auxiliary audio, I do automatically have it set to this since I got this for Christmas. Um, if needed, I do can put my audio too as this, but this is also indicating you've got two audios, three audios, four audios, multiple ones. All the rest of this. Yeah, I got no idea. Let's move on to video. Okay, so your base canvas resolution. I do the 1920 by 1080, which is the... Um, max one you're able to do with that aspect ratio at 16.9. Your output scaled resolution is 1920 by 1080. You'll want to keep these matching. So if you're recording at 1080p by 7, 1080 by 720p, make sure it matches the output scaled. Otherwise, it's going to give you enlarged pixels. That's the only recommendation I can give for you for this. And you can either do frames per second values being a 30, a 24, a 23 point, 23 frames, or 60 frames per second. It's all over again. I know this is probably going to be the fifth or sixth time I repeat this. Whatever your computer can handle. Mine can handle 1920 by 1080. Mine can handle the 60 frame per second. Maybe if you're re watching this and you're doing a follow along, it's not going to work for you. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. You have to play with these settings. And last but not least, we're going to hotkeys. As you can see, I don't use any. I don't need it. I don't do streaming. Now, if you did want to start stop streaming, you can actually get this all set up. If you've got a sound pad, there you go. You can start doing that. Start recording, stop recording, pause recording, unpause. You've got so many different things you could do with this. For me, I don't see the need for it, so I don't use it. There's one more really important one when you're recording and streaming, and that's going to be uh, your start streaming and stop recording. Well, start recording, stop recording. Always make sure, as you don't know, you don't realize how many times you go to record, you've done the audio setup and everything, you do a whole great, amazing episode, everything's on the mark with your reactions and everything, and then you realize the past hour you've been recording and you haven't actually been recording. Oh, it's so painful seeing that. So please make sure you always take a moment right before you start recording because editing, you can always edit it out, clip it out, whichever you'd like. 
always make sure you see that stop recording. So then you know, hey, I'm recording. Let me back, hang on. Yep, I just had to do that for my audio. <laughs> so it goes to show you that you still got to double check even while you're recording. <laughs> And that's basically how I have OBS set up for myself in my recordings um, and how I use it. <laughs> uh, if it, this video did help you guys out, let me know in the comments below. If I missed something, maybe let me know in the comments section as well. Uh, if you guys, I'm probably going to do another video and this one more focused on DaVinci Resolve and maybe one on Canva. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, outside of that, make sure to check out my channel to see what else I have. I am a gaming channel. This is just for one of my YouTube friends to help her out, and I hope this does help you out. Uh, and then go check out my other videos. If you do like them, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I do silly, stupid reactions again. <laughs> and make sure to... Um, comment on the videos on how I'm doing, how I'm improving. I am a really small YouTuber, and every feedback I get actually really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy.